Well, the heat wave that scorched Europe twice already this summer has now arrived in Greenland. What is the outcome of this? Well, as one ice climatologist puts it, this warm air mass has arrived in Greenland. It's melting the ice sheet and the Arctic sea ice. Those were already at close to minimum. You might remember this story that we brought you a few weeks ago in the Cube. Some scientists were going out to retrieve some equipment in West Greenland this year. And what did they find? All of this meltwater right on top of the ice. So clearly it's melting rapidly. But what does it look like in the weeks since that photograph? Well, unfortunately, a fairly bleak picture. Ruth Motterham is a climate scientist that I've been speaking to this morning. She says the Greenland ice sheet has lost 160 billion tonnes of ice through surface melting alone just in July. What does that actually look like in practice? She says it's roughly 64 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. That's quite bad. She says it's getting worse. Uh, one scientist measuring the ice melt here has said, let's look back to 2012. That's the last time we saw uh, record temperatures. And actually, the melt in this part of Greenland, northwestern Greenland, is now 1.2 times that we saw in 2012. So people are tracking quite closely the amount of ice that's melting. Here we can see uh, the median here. And this red line is what has anticipated what's happened and what might happen again in August. Uh, this scientist says we are in a climate emergency. Just finally, someone who studies glaciers and ice has said ever since that record in 2012, we've anxiously been waiting for it to happen again. But now it's part of a clear, ongoing trend. That water, that ice is melting year on year and it's getting worse.